Welcome to Seged in the south of Hungary for the International Canoe Federation's first Sprint World Cup of the 2018 season. 700 athletes from 62 nations have been battling it out for top spot. C2 1000 meters A final. So the athletes have been through heats and semi finals. Perfect conditions, as you can see. About an hour before, there was a huge thunderstorm, but that didn't seem to put off the Russians. These two, by the way, were part of the four that were the world champions in 2014 in the C4 1000. All boats in a line. The Chinese have brought over a very large team this weekend. Coming up to the 500 meter mark, it's a good time. 145 with Cuba starting to make their mark. And here you go, Torres and Yoge. Torres, 18 years at the top level, and his ambition is to go and perform in Tokyo. And why not? These two together in 2017 took the silver medal in the World Championships. The gold medal boat is not present this week. As you can hear, the coaches on the cycle path, they're allowed to shout, but not with any mechanical advantage. They've upped the stroke rate, as you can see, the way they are going, they're gonna take a clear victory by a length, very close a second. China, they're producing hundreds of athletes, but no doubt about the winners. Cuba take the gold, Torres and Yoge. China the silver and Russia take the bronze medal. Good atmosphere today to watch the K2 1000 meters. Same distance as the last one. And here we have Tomisovic and Zorik from Serbia. They came second in the Olympics. More importantly, recently, they are the world champions. Good start in lane nine. For the Serbians we see in the picture there, and the French in their very, very smart uniforms. Total speed in lane number nine, and Woody and Fitzsimmons from Australia. Part of the K4 1000 boat that took out the World Championships in 2017. But Tomisovic and Zorik, they are fairly lightweight, but they've really been at the top of this game now for the last few years. 250 meters to go, and they're really making an exhibition of this race. 2.21 at the split, that's a very good time of well. It's all about coordinating your efforts. Again, the coach is going into it. And when you see them coming into the last 100 meters, the boys change from white until red. Coming up for the line, a very convincing win here. Fight for second, it's going to be the Spanish. The Spanish have been at the top of the game for the last four or five years now. They had some good results, especially winning the World Cup in Serbia last year. But no doubt about the winners. Serbia take the gold, Tomisovic and Zoric. Pena Kubilos, silver for Spain, and Havel and Spicer for the Czech Republic. They just came through to take bronze. Many nationalities here, of course, dominated by the Hungarians, the K1 women, 500 meters. No Lisa Carrington. No, to to Kozak. Dunuta Kozak had a baby last year. She's training hard and she's going to be present for the World Championships. Look in the black boat in a minute. Caitlin Ryan. Her first ever race in this discipline was in Portugal last year where she won. Dora Bojoni from Hungary, one of the many top athletes. The Hungarians' priorities, by the way, is in a couple of weeks' time, it's their internal trials. But just look at the power here from Caitlin. She's part of the well, the K2, the K4, the Lisa Brigade. Lisa Carrington, as we know, is the world champion. And look at the speed that Caitlin's accelerating away. Now, this is a really fast race. This is the race that took place in ideal conditions. Warm water, a very strong tailwind. And she's driving for the line with Dora. Trying to keep up, but it's no doubt about who's going to win. And look at the clock, it's going to be an extraordinarily fast time. So New Zealand takes the victory. Hungary second. That is a scintillatingly fast time. No world records, by the way, because it's always different conditions, but amazing time. K2 
Katie Ryan, 146.576. Dora Bodonje and how many Peters from Belgium takes the bronze medal? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And I think for me, just being able to set the world fastest time today in some great conditions, I think that's um, pretty exciting for me. Hi, I'm Tom Liebscher. I'm a German kayaker from Dresden. I raced in the K4000 meter. I got the gold medal in the Olympics. It was my biggest success uh, so far. And then after that, I decided, okay, 1000 meter is not uh, not that less fun, maybe much more work, but uh, so 1000 meters, yeah, it's like three minutes and 30 seconds uh, struggling against your pain and yeah, fighting against uh, the other guys and it's, yeah, it's more trainable. Yeah, maybe, maybe people think it's different uh, to be a sprinter or a 1000 meter guy, but uh, actually it's not uh, that much different. So if you're talent and you can go on 200 meter uh, and then you train a bit more, you can also go on 1000 meter. You see, for Tokyo Olympic Games, um, my priority is uh, to qualify the spots for the Olympics. And then if I'm good enough, I want to start for my country and of course get a medal. And it doesn't matter if it's K1, K2 or K4, I want to go there. And uh, yeah, I have good memories in Rio, so I want to go to Tokyo. It was the semi-final. First two to qualify and the third, the fastest loser from the four semis. Bernie Holton Poulsen, former world champion. Fernando Pimenta, second last year, just a fraction of a second behind Liebischer. Pushing to the line. Oh, that's very close. Liebischer was third. He'd have to wait for the other semi-finals to see if he qualified. And he did. He was the last to qualify by 0.3 of a second. Say, Leibischer against Pimenta, who would be the top dog in Seged. The lineup, however, also Balant Kopet, who won the race last year. Roy Rodriguez, the flyer from Spain. Olympic champion Murray Stewart. It's a really top notch field. The only champion missing is Josef Dostel. Murray Stewart has had babies an architect, and he's just coming back after a year off. Fernando Pimenta really pushing ahead. He's going to have the honor and maybe the stress of being part of the Portuguese team hosting the World Championships. Montemor Velo, of course, in 2019. It's going to be August. There's a very favorable wind here, and it's a complete tailwind, pushing the boats along. Great overhead pictures. Fernando Pimenta at home in 500 meters, 1,000 meters, and has won many championships over the 5,000 meters as well. So a really accomplished paddler. Also took a silver medal in the London Olympic Games with Manuel Silva, K2 1,000. But he's really using his conditioning to move forward. Top of your picture, 20-year-old Balint Kopaz. He won the race last year, trained by his mother, by the way. Very light, and with this wind, it's going to help. Roy Rodriguez from Spain coming through, but no doubt about the first across the line. Fernando Pimenta from Portugal. Gold goes to Fernando Pimenta, silver goes to Balint Kopas from Hungary, and Roy Rodriguez picks up the bronze medal with Tom Labuschagne way down in ninth. I'm, I'm really happy with this race. It's nice to win this first sprint competition. And looking at the time, it was really, really fast. A crazy race. I, I need to work hard for the next one. Ja, das Rennen well, heute race, war vielleicht nicht so, wie ich es gedacht habe. Ich war really near the bottom of the field. Still I'm happy that I qualified the A-Final. And the semi-final as well. So I could race in three races. Maybe different quality. But it's all say that the first race of the season for me is not that high in points. I'm sure I can improve things a lot. And clearly the goal is the World Championships. Other athletes were very strong today. Congratulations to them.
C1 men 1000. Fuchsner, Tarnowski, Takini, Sima are athletes that are really capable of doing something special. Rios Dos Santos and Brendel are not competing this weekend. They're due to compete in the Duisburg second Grand Prix of the season. It's good to have Zhang in the picture. The Chinese are really putting forward a big team. Here you can actually see there may be almost a flow in the water. Well, why is that? Huge wind spreading around the circuit. And it's Martin Fuchser. Three generations have been international paddlers. His father, grandfather, and of course himself and younger brothers all say good. Martin Fuchser had an outstanding season last year, apart from the last event where Brendel had his word. But he's known as a technician. Really strong and putting down a subject. Looks like it's a convincing win here. And a very fast time. So close for second, was it Takini? The gold for the Czech Republic, Oleg Tarnowski, silver for Moldova, and Italy, Carlo Tacchini takes the bronze. Well, this was the first start of the season and the first win. Same as last year. I'm happy, and I hope the next race is going to be the same. K2 500 Olympic event, new combination, Carrington Imri. Kyle Imri, clearly part of the K4 boat. This is the first time they're racing together in the K2, and they've chosen a very strong field with specifically the French. Look out for the Australians in the yellow tops. And Takach and Vad both won many, many world championships in the team boats. Also looking good are the Austrians. They've been around for many seasons now. Victoria Schwartz and Roxy. Let's see how they're going. But in your picture, it's the Portuguese chasing. Everyone's chasing Lisa Carrington, double Olympic champion in the K2 100 meters, K1 100 meters, sorry, and Kyla Imwe. They're really stretching a powerful pace here. But the Lahaj and Schwartz are really putting something in here. It's a great, great result for Austria. Slowing down over the line and New Zealand with the victory. Austria second, absolutely delighted. New Zealand take the gold, Carrington Imri, Lahatch and Schwartz take the silver, and Portugal finish fast with uh, Patella Vasconcelos taking the bronze. Yeah, I think it's, it's cool. I mean, this is Kayla's first K2 500. So um, it's awesome that I know I can, we can paddle together and um, it go as well as it did. So it's really cool. Good crowds today. C2 women, 500 metres. Now, the two Vincents, Laurence Vincent Lepointe and Katie Vincent in lane number six. Their specificity is they both paddle the same side, which in theory is less effective. But however, they know how to make this boat go. Takach and Bala, they won the first two World Cups in 2017. But in training, it's really all about the Canadians, Chinese. They had a tactic. All under 21 Chinese paddlers were made to do the canoe, I've been informed. So coming up the stretch, it's good work from the Chinese. This would be a huge shock if they take on the Canadians. Canadians had a great winter setting some new world best times. A look at the both blondes here, but it's time for perfection and timing is what it's all about. It's frighteningly quick. Canada take the gold and coming in for the third place are the young Hungarians. China have come out of nowhere. World's best time by three seconds. Canada take the gold, China silver, and Hungary the bronze. 
we stick to our race plan, and that was the plan from the start. Uh, we knew they'd be with us off the line, and even they might even be ahead of us at the 250. But we knew uh, we knew what we could do near the finish line, and we just saved and waited and just stayed calm in the middle. Lovely people, lovely weather. As you can see from the flags, it's quite a tailwind. In 2019, Seged will be hosting the World Championships. It's also going to be massive. K1, 200 meters, the real sprinters, Marta Boltakevic. So many silver medals behind Lisa Carrington. Sarah Goya from France also, someone to look out for. And Marta's normally a fast starter, but it wasn't great in the middle. Here's Sarah Goya, also very accomplished in the 500 meters for France and the K boat as well, the team boat. But they're all in line as we're coming through the first 100 meters. It's 40 seconds of real action here. Lina Stentals in lane number eight for Sweden, also looking very strong. Well, coming up to the line, it's going to be in lane number seven who takes it. And it's Denmark's Emma Jorgensen came second in the K1 500 meters in Rio. Jorgensen, Denmark gold, Linus Stenzel, Sweden silver, and Seigur, France bronze. Marta Boltkets is just missing out. K1, men, 200 meters. Maxime Beaumont from six. He won the silver medal in the Olympic Games, but had a major ankle operation at the beginning of the year. Great overhead angle, just to see what the athletes are looking at. Finishing tower on the right. All these big guys are out fast, and there is Maxime Beaumont for France, also dabbling in the K2 1000 meters. The Rakas from Lithuania in lane number seven is a traditional flying off the start. Looking at about 35 seconds of action with a tailwind, it's going to be very fast and very furious. Liam Heath, the world champion, Olympic champion, is not competing in this event. Mark de Jong non blue, but here we go. It is, well, there are about six boats in a line. Who's going to take it first? Wow, that was close. Looks like the Russian took it. Didn't even make the Olympic final. He's done some amazing training since then. So, looked and off. Gold. Arvelo, silver for Spain, and Artur Seyer in the qualification rate takes the bronze for Lithuania. I'm very excited for uh, the 2020 Olympics because there will be two new uh, races for me uh, in my discipline, so C1-200 and C2-500. Uh, I believe the competition will be very, very fierce to make it to the Olympics and also uh, make it to the podium of the Olympics. So very excited it's gonna be a real good show um, training with Katie uh, Vincent and my new my partner since last year has been great uh, because we're pushing each other all the time but also it's really hard because she's one of the best in the world so I have to fight to make sure I keep getting my place for worlds and maybe for the Olympics I believe like I've done really good times this year and Actually, I'm, I'm still searching for my limit because I believe we can go so much faster. I think last year I said I couldn't, but then I broke my record again this year. And I think for the Olympics, maybe one more second. Let's look at the heat. And Lance Vincent Lepointe had favorable conditions against the Russian who's been really close a couple of years. So, came across the heat, Poor, really had an awful start, awful finish, but the fastest ever time. Speaking to her afterwards, she said the water was okay. 45.177, no one's ever gone as fast as that before. The paddle battle, the top two in the world, who's going to win under pressure? So here's the lineup for the final C1 200 meters. Romasenko in three, Vincent Lapointe in five, with Katie Vincent also really, really hot in lane number six. Again, ideal racing conditions. And this time, well, that's Katie Vincent, who's one of the top athletes in the world. Really fast stroke. But look at 
advance on Le Point. She has a stroke rate much, much, much longer, much more efficient, and much more powerful than the other athletes. She got a great start. This could be frightening. Momosenko, at the top of your picture, is going to take second, but this looks something that is... We're making history, ladies and gentlemen. Official result. Lawrence Vance on Lipport, 44.5 seconds. Romasenko, silver for Russia, and Katie Vincent, bronze for Canada. Yes, uh, so I, I was hoping that I could do uh, under 45 seconds uh, in my race. And because here in Zagat, the conditions are really good. So I was like hoping that I could do it. But then this morning, and just now, I learned that I just got another world record from this morning. And it's both under 45 seconds. So I'm so excited. I couldn't be even, I could be up here. Ladies and gentlemen, a big applause for the first three in this race. Back up to Kenneth, you're going to hurt that So a big reason of why I was able to do this is because I have great competitors like Katie and Olesia. Katie, which I trained with, and Olesia, who's always always really good during competitions. So having them that push me, it, it makes me want to go even faster. And I think that's why I was able to do under 45 again today. So I'm very, very uh, happy that I have them. And uh, I hope for the best for them too. Okay, for 500 meters, New Zealand, Kankin, Imri, Fisher and Ryan all have gold medals from this regatta so far. But the Portuguese team, they qualified directly in the first heat, beating the Hungarians and absolutely delighted. And they are set. Great Britain at the bottom of your picture, high hopes. New Zealand, Lisa Carrington taking them out with the Moldovans, sisters from Serbia, being around for the last 10 years now. Let's see what they can do. The Spanish also looking good at this stage. Great Britain not letting themselves down, but mechanically, the New Zealanders are in a different league. Portugal have very experience in their boat. Coming to the second half of the race, they're making the boat flow. You see the girls look like they're sitting still. That means there's no efficiency given away whatsoever. Leg pumping high. Need a lot of muscle to really keep the paddles up there, but it's a demonstration coming in. A good length ahead of the others with a fast finishing second boat. Australia, wow! New Zealand first, Australian second, and Hungary coming in third. Um, it's just fun to be able to go out there and, um, you know, we both have a bit of speed, so it's really cool to be able to express that out on the water. Um, and it's just another way to, um, for us to have more racing, um, you know, get on the course and just enjoy what we do. From the women to the men, K4, 500 metres, it's the Olympic event here. The German world champions are not competing this week, but there are some really cracking examples. If you look at the Spanish boat, there's the K2 500 meter winners and the K2 200 meter winners. And they're in the middle of your picture. The Hungarians in lane number nine going out very fast as well, with the Lithuanians always having a fast boat. But the Spanish are really putting something down at the halfway mark. We're looking at a time of about 118. Caviotto the most popular man on social media. Multiple medal winners and Marcus Cooper Walls in the third seat, which is the power seat. Here's the individual K1 1000 meter Olympic champion, but the Hungarians have really, really put something out here. And that's why the crowd are hugely cheering. Spain's coming home. Hungarian second and third. Just shows the strength in depth there. One eighteen zero zero two. Spain take the gold. Hungary second, and Hungary third.
So happy winning the gold medal. So gold medal in the K4 and the K2. Also, we did an incredible race from the start until the end. And we're really looking forward to the next international competitions and, of course, the World Championships. So, that's it from Seged Hungary 2018 World Cup. Thanks for watching. Remember to follow on social media at Planet Canoe. See you next time.